Hi there, I've been having a little bit of fun with the string sounds here on the Yamaha PSR SX700, uh, particularly in combination with the piano. There's a few ways that you can make them sound particularly good. Uh, this tip is going to work no matter if you've got an SX700, a 900, a Genos, or a Genos 2 as well. This operating system is common. So to start off with, um, what I'm going to do is change select my main voice as the concert grand piano, which we all know is very nice. And then I'm going to add a secondary voice on top of that. So I'm going to have pianos on the bottom and then strings on next. I'm going to go into the string section here and the default string settings on PSR SX700 is the Seattle strings. Now, what happens when I get these activated is a little bit too in your face. I think it's a bit full on, a bit strong. You'll see what I mean. Now, it's not bad, it's surely very powerful, but for playing a bit of uh, gentle piano, the strings are just a little bit too full on. So, this is where we can start to use the mixer. And again, this will work on your SX900, your Genos, your Genos 2. Go to the mixer button here, and you will see this display. And activated on the top, in green, are right one and right two. It's my piano and it's my strings. But notice, that their volumes here with these little sliders are both set to 100. What I'm going to do is take the strings one and lower it down to about 50. Now listen to the difference that that makes. really taken that edge off the string somewhat, hasn't it? That's just a simple case of lowering the volume of the strings, but it can get better than that too. If you look at the screen again here, do you ever wonder what these little dials here are for? This is for controlling the, the panning. You've got two speakers on your keyboard um, and you can split the sounds to give you a sort of stereo effect. What I'm going to do is, for the string one here, press that little box and it'll light up like that. And then I'm going to use the data entry wheel to move the strings over to the right hand side. And you can experiment here by holding down a chord and then spinning the wheel at the same time. And the sound will shift over to the right hand side. Get it to a level you're fairly comfortable with. But quite a nice thing to do is to go to the piano now, press it here so, it, so that box lights up, and then move the piano to the left-hand side. And what ends up happening is you get piano in one ear, strings in the other, and they come together to form a completely new sound. Now, if you're listening in stereo, of course you can appreciate that, but this is something really to try with your own keyboard at home because the effect from the player's perspective is quite nice to play around with. And when you add a third voice, indeed, uh, and I'm going to go for this great um, pad that I found called Hot Swell, and make sure i am acti activated it, come back to the mixer, and I'm going to move it to the left you see it moving over to the left as I move the data entry wheel to have it at about the same side, same location as the piano and bring the volume down as well. So it's kind of matching the, the uh, Seattle strings. And listen to the effect we've got now.
hot swell that I added uh, at the end there really just gives it a, a little sparkle, particularly when you hold down notes for a long time. So coming back to the mixer, uh, that's just a really um, good way, and we need to be on panel by the way to be able to see that along the top, a really nice way to just tweak the settings because it's such a capable uh, operating system to give you, the player, assuming you're playing at home with the onboard speakers or indeed headphones, a different experience of using pianos and strings together. And remember, you can then save that into a registration setting too. Uh, have fun with that one. And incidentally, if you've got an SX700 keyboard from Yamaha and you'd like a copy of my settings that I've just used in that video, I'll email them to you for free. So send me an email to the email uh, in the description below this video. I'll pop it through to you. You can get it on a USB stick, put it on your own keyboard, and it'll sound exactly as I had it set up in this video. Thanks. Oh.